North Korea says the U.S. and South Korea crossed a red line after a nuclear-capable U.S. Navy ballistic missile submarine made a port call in South Korea. The submarine Kentucky arrived at a port in the South Korean city of Busan for the first time in about 40 years. North Korea says, in effect, that it considers the sub's presence a provoca provo provocation and that its laws allow it to respond in kind. North Korea's statement comes days after a U.S. soldier is believed to have crossed over the military demarcation line into North Korea. For other national headlines, we'll send it over to Alan Miller. Well, Jody, many in the military are having a tough time affording the rising costs in housing, food, and child care, but they might get some assistance soon. The House's latest defense bill includes a pay raise, additional employment help for military spouses, and more assistance for housing and child care. The Senate is now considering the legislation. Also, last month, President Biden announced executive actions to make it easier for military spouses to find and hold on to jobs. The Belarus Defense Ministry says its forces will hold exercises with Wagner fighters near its border with Poland. At the beginning of July, Belarusian President Alexander Lukashenko invited Wagner forces into Belarus to help train his country's military. The invite came shortly after the failed armed insurrection by Wagner forces against Moscow, which Lukashenko was credited with helping defuse. Agents at Boston Logan International Airport confiscated multiple knives from a mother and son traveling to Salt Lake City. The pair turned the knives over to Massachusetts State Police and were allowed to continue their trip. No charges were filed. But the TSA reminds passengers they can pack knives in checked luggage, but the only knives permitted in carry-on bags are plastic or round-bladed butter knives. And one of the stories we're working on for First News at 6, daycare providers received aid during the pandemic to help feed children. It just expired. So what's next? Back to you, Tony.